Long before Google Street View, Jack Mays started to create his own panoramic views of his hometown. Using colored pencil, he sat in his white plastic chair on Main Street for 15 years, seven days a week, 12 hours a day, drawing the town in every detail. Occasionally, he'd move a little further. He drew the county fairgrounds on the edge of town, and he drew the cemetery. But he'd always returned to Main Street. I chose this spot. I, I was here for three years. I'd already done, exhausted pretty much that end. And so from here, I move off in this direction, I'm going to cross the street, and then back over here. And so then I just crisscrossed all the way up the street for the next few years. I was probably in this location for at least a year and a half. But Jack had no interest in exhibiting or selling his drawings. Few people were aware that the single drawing they saw him working on in the street was part of something much bigger. Then Jack got a terminal cancer diagnosis. Don't ever assume, don't ever assume about anything. Three months ago, I was diagnosed with kidney cancer, basically, and given three months. You put everything in a totally different perspective. And so, in other words, you don't think of a year-long project or a 10-year project, but you think, what can I do tomorrow? So Jack began to draw political cartoons for the local paper. He could complete one of those in a day. I'm doing everything that I know about to stay alive. Diet, exercise, attitude. I've become an expert, at least in my own mind, on surviving cancer. You want a piece yeah. of cheese? Yeah, just with okay. my diet, you know, a little tiny piece. Yeah, I know your diet all right. Just melts in your mouth, huh? Mm -hmm. Your body, your body will tell you what it wants. Is there a rest for vegetables? <laughs> no, I hate. What is that green stuff everybody, they put on the plate now? Broccoli. Oh, I hate that goddamn stuff. Six years after his diagnosis, Jack is still alive and still drawing. This film sees him come to terms with what life has to offer. And as he says himself, life was never this much fun before I was dying.